go. Thanks, mate. That's all right. You're right. Nah, not really, mate. I've been I've been a bit depressed ever since Mark died. Just I don't know. Nothing seems worthwhile. I've, I've, if I'll be honest. I've been suicidal. Oh, sorry, man. Mm. Oh, and I keep seeing bloody white feathers everywhere. Seeing what? White feathers. Whenever I go out anywhere, I see white feathers appearing out of nowhere. They're always sort of perfect and pristine looking. They'd be raining and they'd be dry, right? I go out to the shops, I come back, there'd be a white feather right there on my doorstep. I don't remember that being there. This has been going on for weeks and weeks. I've heard about this, Mike. You know what that is? No. It's a guardian angel. <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm serious, man. Really? Yeah. You've been doing too much yoga, mate. No, twice a week. Yeah, that is too much. Well, now you bring it up, right? I had to go and rent a flat the other day, right? Went to view it, got there, completely empty, no furniture, plain walls, floorboards, right? I had a quick look round, couldn't really decide because I'm bloody miserable at the moment, right? And as I was leaving, I just closed the door behind me, looked in, right there in the centre of the room, single white feather. Sent a shiver down my spine because I knew 100% that that feather had not been there when I arrived. Exactly. What do you mean exactly? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Someone's looking out for you, yeah? It's mm. not that bad. You've got a guardian angel. Bloody hell. I've got a guardian angel. Fantastic. Do you want another tea? Yeah, go on. Yeah. Herbal, obviously. Yeah, of <laughs> course. Cool. Oh. Mike. What? Nothing. 